Well guys, it's that time again. We've got to do maintenance on the old car here. Basic stuff, just an oil change today. Let's jump into it. All right, so I'm up under the car. I want to try out the new extended HP ratchet wrench here. And all we have to do is get right back up in here. I'm meticulous about keeping oil changes and everything done. All right, so pretty simple stuff. Let's get a up close here. This has, this has got a little bit of power to it. So let's see what it does here. Oh, there we go. It broke it loose. Oil's gonna fly. Keep your rags ready. I like to put a lot of pressure on it and then just relief it. All right, so we keep spinning. Okay, now it's ready to come out. And then, boop, there we go. Now I will say this, I don't care if you are male or female, it doesn't really matter. If you own a vehicle, you better know how to take care of it. And if that means you're paying someone to do it because you're physically unable, hey, I think that's perfectly fine. But I also think that you better understand, you know, the maintenance cycles, because if you make it, if you maintain it, it will last. I, you know, that's just kind of been my mantra. My dad always drilled that into my head and we would always change oil and get things done. That was the same with my grandfather. Um, hopefully you can still see I dropped the camera, but, uh, it was always drilled into my head to make sure you always change your oil. You know, you change your air filter, you do everything else you need, but make sure the oil is always changed and then do it even before you need to sometimes. You know, I had someone tell me one time that he does not change his oil. He thinks a sealed engine is the best engine. Well, I got another thing to tell you. This oil breaks down, you know, it doesn't stay good forever. And you have a lot of moving parts, you have a lot of friction. And you got to take care of that for sure. If you don't take care of it, I guarantee you, your, your engine will uh, seize up because A, you don't have the proper lubrication, you have a lot of breakdown, it'll get gelled, a lot of bad things will happen. So. You know, make sure you maintain it. Make sure you understand what the maintenance cycles are on it. And uh, you do what you need to do in order to get it done. And I don't really care how you get it done, but you do it properly. Use the right fluids. And that's how you're gonna make a vehicle last a lot longer if you just continue that maintenance cycle. Now we've got the filter out. Now here's one big thing, you know, it's pretty much done now the filter actually will drip for a good long while make sure you clean the face of where the gasket of the filter actually mates up to it you want a very clean surface um, but that's not the only thing I've taken some clean oil right here and I'm going to put it around the gasket of the new filter and that's going to create a really good seal and make sure that it stays, you know, moisturized and it doesn't dry out. So. Here we go. It doesn't take much just to drop. But that could be the difference between a a leak and not a leak. Let's get this bad boy up in here. Alright, you snug it up. And then you just do another quarter turn. Alright, that's good right there. And that's all you need. Alright, let's go ahead and torque this to spec here. Click. Alright, that's specced up pretty good. All right, everybody. Well, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Who wants to miss riveting content like this? <laughs> no, but seriously, I appreciate everybody for watching. Uh, I hope you tune in next time. Until then, take care, everybody.